I wear my mask for child welfare workers. I Indiana's Mask Up campaign is getting thumbs down in Fountain County, where COVID numbers are soaring. Weekly cases double the threshold of what's considered alarming. The county's rate, 495 weekly cases per 100,000 residents. The seven-day positivity rate, more than 17%. Uh, one of the underlying issues there is a significant resistance to social distancing, wearing masks. And it's not just residents. The Fountain County clerk is publicly refusing to wear a mask, but won't say if she has a medical exemption. Paula Copenhaver told us, I'm seriously concerned for our constitutional rights and I'm part of the government, but I still will not be a part of the government's overreach. I don't understand what's so hard to understand about that. Why we have to act like we're in preschool, where somebody thinks that they have the authority to tell somebody else what they should or should not be doing. I think people are smart enough and responsible enough for themselves to make decisions for themselves. And while that sounds good, it's not good enough in a pandemic. In a pandemic, it's not about you or me. It's about we and us. So individual responsibility just isn't going to cut it. Fountain County Public Health Officer Dr. Sean Sharmer wants businesses to require masks and elected officials to show leadership by following the governor's mandate. He believes penalties and fines could help, but he's not convinced county health departments should shoulder the enforcement. We need help. We just don't have the staff or the resources to do that, along with the other things that we have to do right now. And so that means potentially getting law enforcement on board. Local health departments are empowered on these um, enforcement measures. And we uh, are not just willing, but we're able, it's in part why we're here, to assist local communities. But the state stopped short of including law enforcement. Dr. Sharma says he's worried about the coming months when he can't get his county on the same page to slow the spread. It's about people's lives. And I, I think that when we really sit down and consider the implications of not doing that, not putting enforcement behind that mandate, I think the risk is too much.